Hello everyone, in this video, let us talk about uh, health checks in Jira. So today I wanted to talk about uh, something which is uh, a bit uh, different and uh, really important. If you are uh, responsible for uh, maintaining a Jira instance or maybe you are responsible for uh, taking care of uh, some other Atlassian tool like uh, Bitbucket or Confluence, then you should have uh, this uh, strategy in your uh, plan to do regular health checks or some kind of an audit of your instance. So let us say if you are talking about a Jira instance and uh, uh, right now we are talking about let us say January, uh, the beginning of the year. So if you do let us say some kind of survey or uh, an uh, analysis of your instance, you can uh, prepare a report and in this report you can uh, keep track of uh, some uh, statistics like uh, how many projects are there, how many users are using the tool. Uh, you can have uh, some statistics about, uh, uh, let us say, uh, uh, the configurations, how many workflows you have, how many custom fields you have. And this is something that you can do from the UI. You can take a look at, uh, uh, you know, different configurations. You can uh, you can definitely prepare a report. And uh, uh, you also can do something similar for, uh, let us say, your server, or maybe you can uh, do some uh, uh, analysis for, uh, checking the performance of uh, your instance like uh, uh, you can do some simple tests like how long it takes to uh, open your Jira instance, how long it takes to create uh, an issue or to load your uh, backlog view or maybe how long it takes to let us say uh, do some other activity. So the whole idea here is to create some kind of uh, a report that you can uh, refer back to in future. So after six months, you can do a similar check and then you can do a comparison. Like in the past six months, maybe you have gained 20% uh, more users, but your number of issues uh, have increased maybe 50 times or not 50 times, but 50% uh, or it can, it can actually be 50 times as well, but I'm just uh, giving you some examples. So when you create these regular reports, these regular audit reports, you have some kind of a checkpoint and you have the opportunity to analyze what happened in those past six months and it will enable you to create some projections for uh, feature and especially if you are talking about uh, using Jira in uh, big organizations or maybe in uh, growing organizations uh, you definitely need to take care of your Jira instance and these audit reports these regular health checks uh, can definitely be uh, useful uh, and based on the outcome of these reports based on the analysis of your current report and uh, uh, by comparing it with your previous report you can take some decisions for example, do you want to uh, move to data center or maybe you uh, need to get rid of some add-ons that people are not using or maybe you uh, need to clean up your instance. So uh, there is one aspect of uh, creating this uh, health check report. Uh, the other aspect is to uh, take some action and uh, usually you need to do some cleanup uh, because uh, when you are using a Jira instance uh, people will leave the company and uh, you may want to get rid of old data you may want to get rid of uh, the projects that are not being used maybe you can just uh, delete them or of course uh, you can take a take a backup and then delete those old uh, uh, projects and uh, things that are not really relevant and you can only do these things when you have uh, the knowledge when you have uh, some information about uh, what things you can uh, get rid of what things you don't really need in future maybe you need to increase your user tier so when you have these things already in place and you, and, and and having some kind of uh, previous reports will give you the idea about uh, the possible outcome in the next uh, six months or maybe one year and uh, uh, I will be making more videos, th more videos in the coming uh, months for sure, where I will uh, talk about how to create these reports. And uh, most of these reports are not very complicated, but you need to just uh, make sure that you are uh, uh, doing things uh, properly uh, right from the very beginning of your uh, journey of using Atlassian tools. And uh, Jira is uh, quite a popular tool, and when you deploy a tool like Jira in the organization. In the beginning, people uh, will, of course, uh, start using it. They uh, will, of course, uh, 
ask you to do some customizations and usually uh, what i have seen personally is uh, in organizations where uh, uh, where people use sira for their day to day work they request for a lot of customizations they request uh, uh, for onboarding more people on the tool because uh, jira is a great tool jira can help you or your team your your organization it can actually solve a lot of problems so it, it is a tool that a lot of people like and uh, uh, there are various aspects of the tool that are uh, uh, really enjoyable to use as a user as well and you will notice that after deploying jira you will ex- you you will definitely uh, see people uh, they wanting to use the tool more they want to do more things with the tool maybe they want to uh, uh, create more projects uh, on a regular basis maybe they have uh, other projects that uh, uh, they would like to use jira uh, i mean they would like to use jira to develop those projects so the usage of the tool is really important and uh, whether you are uh, using the tool a lot more than you initially planned you can only come to know about these things when you check the tool uh, regularly by doing some kind of audit or uh, health checks so this is all i wanted to uh, share in this video that uh, please do regular health checks and uh, keep an eye on my future videos i will be uh, sharing uh, tips and i will be sh- sharing uh, few examples not few examples but i will be sharing definitely uh, uh, examples of uh, uh, how to create various uh, reports like uh, how to fetch the users how to fetch uh, the list of issues and uh, not just fetching the issues but how to how to make meaningful analysis out of uh, the data that you are retrieving from jira for uh, preparing this uh, audit report so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned uh, something new today thank you very much